Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba' The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Fi dhasta'antu fi sta'an billah That if you seek refuge or if you seek support and help and assistance from anyone or anything, then seek it from Allah. Seek it from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we recite this verse in Surah Al Fatiha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we, we, we supplicate with this. We, it is you whom we worship, and it is you who we seek help. We have to talk about Allah Azza wa Jal, and the Quran and the Sunnah. All throughout the Quran and the Sunnah, it directs us to rely on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Well, to walk along Allah Azza Wa Jal, that we should rely, seek help, and put our trust in Allah. So, if you want success in this life as well as the hereafter, you will talk along Allah Azza Wa Jal, because in fact, whatever struggle you go through. No one can help you. Truly, no one can help you without Allah. No one can help you without Allah. So although someone may help you during a time of struggle and strife and difficulty, but that's only with what? The permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all by the decree of Allah, the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is aiding you. Allah is supporting you. And Allah has made that person from the asbab, from the reasons or the ways and means of you gaining support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, as the Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa salam said, فِيدَ اسْتَعَنْتَ فِيسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ So when you seek support and assistance, seek it from Allah. Seeking assistance from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Asking him and consulting him in all your affairs. For example, making istikhara. You know, praying whenever you're going to make a decision. Whenever you have a choice between, uh, in a matter or something something you want to have, you, you need help in your, your life or your affairs. So you seek the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by, again, by prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِسَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and seek help by patience and prayer. All of those are, are, are great acts of ibadah. Those are great acts of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sabr by being patient. Sabr being patient with the being patient by being patient by not indulging in sin being patient patient and being obedient to Allah by doing the righteous deeds that that requires patience and being patient with the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those are the various types of patience all of that is ibadah all of those things are acts of ibadah you'll be rewarded with if you're successful in listening in, in, in being obedient to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in all of our affairs and help the Muslims everywhere to come back to him through patience and prayer and by seeking assistance from him coming back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and back to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and seeking the support and assistance of our Lord Subhanahu.
wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam